Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Safety product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the new long pipeline options available in version 8.4 of Fast and Safety. Previous versions of the software required you to draw the entire pipeline route if you wanted to model releases from a long pipeline. Now, in many situations, that's acceptable. For example, if you're modeling a cross country pipeline, it might be okay for you to have to draw that entire pipeline route. But what about a situation where you only wanted to model releases from a small portion of that route and it's not practicable for you to have to draw the entire route. Now in version 8.4, we've introduced some additional options for specifying long pipelines to help in this situation. In the study that you can see, we have a refinery and then we have a long pipeline represented by this blue line that's coming into this refinery. Now, suppose that the focus of this assessment is the refinery and the people surround on the refinery and surrounding the refinery. We might only be interested in releases from the long pipeline within say a few hundred meters or, or maybe a thousand meters of the refinery and therefore we don't want to have to draw the entire long pipeline route which in this example is 10,000 meters worth of pipeline. So in version 8.4 you have some new options available to help in this situation. We have a new long pipeline point model which when you insert that in your tree, it asks you to select somewhere on the map where you want to model the releases from that long pipeline. Now, if we were only worried about releases from the first 1000 meters of this 10,000 meter pipeline, we might choose to create um, just one pipeline point, maybe in the middle of this 1000 meter section, or we might want to model, let's say three, pipeline points, one that's right next to the refinery, one that's in the middle of the 1000 meter section, and then one that's at the end of the 1000 meter section. A pipeline point, once you've inserted it on the map, within the dialog of that pipeline point, on the scenario tab, you'll have the option of specifying the entire pipeline length, which in this example is 10,000 meters. And then within the long pipeline point, you can insert a location specific breach. So this will model releases from this long pipeline at the point that's been specified for the long pipeline. And within the location specific breach, you can specify the distance to break. Now the distance to break is from the upstream end of the pipeline. Now, obviously, the value that you enter here will depend on the direction of flow for this particular pipeline. Suppose that this was a pipeline bringing uh, gas or oil into the refinery, then the location specific breach in this example would be 9,500 meters from the upstream end of the pipeline, which is over on the right hand side of the blue line that's been drawn. If the flow of the pipeline was the other way, then our distance to break would be 500 meters instead. Now the, the options there for specifying distance to break are no different in version 8.4, but the difference is in version 8.4 is that instead of having to draw the entire pipeline route, you can just specify a single point on the map for where you want to model the releases. So that's a new long pipeline point model. Within the, uh, the traditional long pipeline model that you had in previous versions of the software, there's some new fields in the dialog to help in the situation where you want to model releases from just a small section of the long pipeline. So when we insert a pipeline polyline, the software will ask you to draw this pipeline on the map starting from the upstream end. 
Now, in this situation, we could draw the entire 10,000 meter route going from right to left, if this was an incoming pipeline to this refinery, or you can draw just a small section of it. So suppose that we only want to model releases from this 1,000 meter section of this 10,000 meter pipeline, and this was an incoming pipeline, then we would click at the 1,000 meter point, and then the second point that we would click is at the end of the pipeline. So you can see on the map, the long pipeline section is represented. And then on the long pipeline dialog, on the scenario tab, there are some new fields available in version 8.4. There is a checkbox that allows you to supply a pipeline length longer than what's been drawn on the GIS. So we've drawn a thousand meters worth of pipeline on the GIS, but the real pipeline length is much longer than 1000 meters. You can see at the moment, the software calculates the drawn section to be 992 meters, almost a thousand meters. Obviously there's some slight uncertainty or inaccuracy in where I've clicked. But the software currently thinks that the entire pipeline length is almost a thousand meters. But actually, we know that the real pipeline length is 10,000 meters. So you can check this checkbox here and you can override the entire pipeline length. So now we know that the entire pipeline length is 10,000 meters. So we enter that into this dialogue here for the entire pipeline length. And there is another field that you can edit, which allows you to specify the length of the pipeline, the length of the real pipeline, that is upstream of the first geometry point that you clicked when inserting this long pipeline section on the map. Now, at the moment, this value is specified as zero meters, we can see a field that tells us the length that's been calculated from the geometry tab, which is almost a thousand meters. If we go over to the geometry tab for a second, we can see the east and north coordinates of the two points where we clicked on the map for this long pipeline section. And we can see that based on those geometry points, the length that is calculated is almost a thousand meters, 992 meters. So the length calculated from the geometry tab is 992 meters. And because the default value for the length upstream of the first geometry point is zero meters, then the software has another field, which is disabled, but it, it tells you the value for information. This is telling us the length downstream of the last geometry point that was clicked on the map. So the last geometry point that was clicked on the map was the end, the very end of the pipeline immediately adjacent to this refinery. And we can see here that the length downstream of the last geometry point is calculated as 9,007 meters. Now, where does it get 9,007 meters from? That is simply the entire pipeline length of 10,000 meters minus the length that's been calculated from the geometry tab. So 10,000 meters minus 992.57 meters is equal to 9,007 meters and 43 centimeters. Now, in this situation, the pipeline is an incoming pipeline. So the upstream end of this pipeline is over on the right hand side. So actually we need to make some adjustments to this field so that the software knows exactly where along the 10,000 meter route the drawn section is. So the length upstream of the first geometry point is actually 10,000 meters minus the length that's been calculated from the geometry. 
So in other words, in this situation, the length upstream of the first geometry point should be 9,007 meters. And then when we tab to the next field, we can see now that the length downstream of the last geometry point is almost zero. It's just a, a very small number. So in other words, we have 9,007 meters. And then we have the 992 meters of pipeline that's been drawn on the map. So this is an incoming pipeline. We have 9,007 meters of pipeline that's not been drawn on the map. And then we have 992 meters of pipeline that has been drawn on the map. Obviously, if the flow of the pipeline was the other way, if this was an outgoing pipeline, then we would have zero meters upstream. And then we would have the 992 meters that's been calculated from the geometry. And then we would have 9,007 meters to the downstream end. If the section that you had drawn on the map was somewhere in the middle of your real pipeline, then you could enter an appropriate value into this tab. So let's suppose that, for example, we have 5,000 meters worth of pipeline upstream of the section that's been drawn on the map. And then when we tab to the next field, we have 5,000 meters upstream. Then we would have the 992 meter section that's been drawn on the map. And that would be followed by 4,007 meters downstream of the section that's been drawn on the map. Such that the sum of 5,992 and 4,007 is equal to 10,000 meters. So these new options, first, the ability to draw a single long pipeline point or click a single long pipeline point on the map, or to draw just a small section of the pipeline on the map and specify where along the real pipeline that drawn section is. These new options should give users much more flexibility when it comes to drawing long pipelines and modeling those releases in the software. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dmvgl.com.